Hello students, it's time for another gizmo. So this one is called Free Fall Tower. You can get it by clicking on the gizmo in your class, uh, or you can do a search for it, and we'll just type in free, and we have Free Fall Tower. There's another one called Free Fall Laboratory, but this one we're gonna do is called Free Fall Tower. And we'll click to launch the gizmo. And as always, under the lesson info, you have choices for your exploration sheet. You've got PDF, Word, or Google Doc. So here is the exploration sheet. This tells you what to do. It also has places for you to record your answers, and you can also record some data for the activities. So let's make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so for this particular gizmo, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to drop a couple of different items. You've got your items that are over here. You've got ping pong ball, golf ball, golf ball soccer ball, watermelon. And on, on this side over here, we have the same items, but they have a parachute. And so you can pick different ones, or you can pick the same one. So if we pick just the ping pong ball, we hit the play button, and you can see down they go. And in this case here, a ping pong ball it doesn't take very long to reach terminal velocity, which is why you saw it stop. Uh, accelerating and if we go on the graph tab you can see they both go at the same and at some point they actually stop getting faster and they travel at the same speed right that's terminal velocity and we can reset it the other thing is as it's falling downward at some point you can also open the parachute and you can see that slows it down quite a bit I'm not gonna let this go to the ground we'll hit pause if we go to the graph over here you can see that the one with the parachute clearly has a different speed than the one that was just falling downward. So we gotta think about why that would happen. Why would opening the parachute change the speed so dramatically? I'll reset again. Now, of course, we can have with air or we can have with a vacuum. If I do the two ping pong balls in air, all the way down, we get 5.29 seconds. And if I remove all the air, and we do it again, we can see it's quite a bit faster, right? There's no terminal velocity at this, um, when there's a vacuum, when there's no air. In fact, if I play this again, and then I open the parachute, you can see that the parachute didn't even open. And of course, we can pick all kinds of different things. We can do ping pong ball and the watermelon, and we'll do it with air again. And a different outcome, perhaps they reach terminal velocity at different speeds. If I do a vacuum where there's no air, no surprise, they both hit at the same time. So we'll put the air back again. Uh, I'm not going to open the parachute on this one, but I'll just play this along. It only takes a couple seconds. Now that the ping pong ball has hit the ground, if we go to the graph, you can see that they both have different profiles for how they were falling towards the ground. One of them reached terminal velocity, and the other one did not. Do you know which one it is? So that's how you do this gizmo. Um, there's a number of different activities, A, B, and C for this one. So depending on your class, we'll determine which um, activities that you're going to do. Uh, and you can just drag and drop, and you get to pick the different items that you have listed over here. So there you go, and I will see you in class.